Since I built this new generator, I was asked about running another Suntac meter. So I was over at Harbor Freight today and I picked this one up. This is item number 90899. Harbor Freight provides coupons that make these free with an additional purchase. If you remember my initial tests, I was using a test lead wire like these. And that came out of the high current generator. And you'll notice now that there's much larger wire coming out of this. So normally when I'm testing I would just use these, but what I'm going to be doing today is I plan to use the leads that come with it. So I've got some adapters here. These are just a standard banana jack with a test lead insert. These are actually a pretty good fit on here. I don't know, I've seen uh, some videos where these are very loose. I don't know, with this meter here they seem fine. You can see these fit very snug down inside of our adapters here. Okay, so this meter has never been apart. Uh, it's the way it was when it was purchased, fresh out of the box. This will be the third of this type of meter that I've tested. One thing I'm not sure about with these meters is which mode actually would cause the most damage. What I'm going to do is just run it in uh, 750 volt AC mode, assuming that if somebody were actually going to use line voltage with this, they would probably have it in that mode. Try to get all the leads here in the shot. Maybe we'll actually capture the damage if anything does go wrong with the leads. Okay. <laughs> so if we look down inside of the lead here, it actually blew the end out of it. That's the end of the banana jack stuck in the end of the meter there. Let me see if I can go ahead and slide that out of there. Well, that is pretty much welded in there. <laughs> you can see the trace here. This is just turned totally black. You can see the fragments. That's what's remaining off of the top of the chip here. Some additional ones up in the corner. <laughs> what I'm going to do, we'll put this back together. Make sure everything's locked the way it would normally be. We'll leave the battery out. Okay, so I've gone ahead and reattached the meter using my normal test lead wires. And the meter is still set in the 750 volt AC mode. We'll just leave it there. I haven't actually rotated the position of that switch. Of course, with the damage to the traces, I don't know if this will arc over again. We'll just have to try it and see what happens. Yeah, so not the big jump I was hoping for. Hmm. So our little fuse here was damaged. What I'm going to do is replace that with a brass standoff. That should be able to handle a little bit more current. <laughs> you can see here where it arced. Right between the two here. Yeah, I'm not sure how this thing is connected. I know the, you can see for the 10 amp, there is no fuse. I assume that that fuse is only in there uh, for the lower current settings. See a little discoloration up in here. Certainly some along the sides. Not a lot of damage to the selection switch. And I think most of that's because these traces have all opened up. And I just don't think we're going to push any current through that switch now. So yeah, maybe if it would have been in a different mode when I first hit it and didn't use their leads it may have done more damage but uh, I think the leads from that initial hit saved it you know you get these from Harbor Freight they are free but if you are looking for something a little better again this is 5k wise 107 this fluke 107 you've seen what I put this thing through it just needs a few more functions but yeah really if you're just working on some basic stuff, 
I'm not sure you could really go wrong with a meter like this or the 101. You know, both of those are pretty good meters. They're very robust. So for the people that were hoping to see one of these split apart, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe next time if I run one again, I'll do it without the leads, that's for sure. But still quite a bit of damage compared to a meter like this that basically isn't affected by the test. Of course, there's a price difference between the two of these, free versus a little over 100 bucks for this. But the 101, you know, under 50 bucks. So, yeah, very good meters from Fluke. I'm going to finish this video up with a recommendation from my friends John and Jess, who recommended that I run my old Fluke meter one last time. Last time we ran the meter, this capacitor and the one down here had both been damaged. I've got the meter set to the same mode it was during that test. Let's just see if any additional damage occurs.